Oakford Lake by Jenny Bruin and Cassidy Curtis. Measuring density. Step one, make sure you have a graduated cylinder and test tubes. Clearly label each whether it is dock water or waterfall water. Step two, get the Oakford Lake water and fill test tubes to 10 milliliters. Step three, fill graduated cylinder with 10 milliliters of water from the test tube. Step four, weigh the cylinder with and without water. Record data. Step five, divide the weight of the cylinder with the mass of the cylinder with water. Record data. Measuring density, step one. Measuring density, step two. Measuring density, step three. Measuring density, step four. Measuring density, step four continued. Measuring density, step five. Measuring color. Step one, make sure you have test tubes with 10 milliliters of water that are clearly labeled whether it is dock water or the waterfall water. Step two, examine each test tube and compare it to the colors on the floral Yule's color scale. This is the scale of what the color of the water is. Step three, record result of each water sample. Make sure to include anything floating in the water, anything noticeable in each tube. Measuring color step one. Measuring color step two. Measuring color step three. Measuring color step three continued. Measuring odor. Step one, make sure you have a test tube with 10 milliliters of water that are clearly labeled whether it is dock water or the waterfall water. Step two, waft the test tube to find out whether there is a smell to the water. Step three, record results. Measuring odor, step one. Measuring odor, step two. Measuring odor, step three. Conclusions. The Oakford Lake has a higher density after the waterfall. Before the fall, the water has a density of 5.729 grams per milliliter, and after it has a density of 5.766 grams per milliliter. There is a 0.037 gram per milliliter difference. The color of the lake water at 10 milligrams is clear yellow color before and after the waterfall. When it goes through the waterfall process, it has much more soluble, insoluble matter to it. However, there is no odor to the lake water at 10 milligrams of water. This is all due to the fact that during the time the water goes through the waterfall and hits the bottom hard, it mixes up the bottom of the lake, causing there to be more matter in the water when samples are taken. Oakford Lake Water Project.